just going to take you through um, one of the easiest uh, types of deadlift. It's called a trap bar deadlift. I'm going to show you a similar thing with the kettlebells. Um, it's a good place to start when doing deadlifts. It's a lot easier on your flexibility. Uh, I'm going to show you two faults to start off with and then how I want you to do it. Most common fault is over flexion of your spine. So you're in this position where you've got a rounded spine and then people roll it up to the top and roll it back down. Okay, so we don't want to see any of that, so none of this curve. But what we also don't want to see is overarching your back. That's really common, and people think they've got a flat back, but actually they've got this overextended spine at the bottom, and they drag it up. And they're trying to get their chest too high. What we want is somewhere in the middle called the neutral spine. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere around there. I'm not overarching, I'm not flexing, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm not afraid. For my chest bone to be facing the floor, it doesn't have to be up facing the mirror like a lot of people think. So it can be take, okay to be facing the floor, all I need to do is wrap my shoulder blades together and we've got this neutral position. From there, I'm going to drive my hips forwards, lock my glutes, not over arch at the top, I'm just locking my glutes and then pushing my hips back to start. facing the same direction, so you're not overarching your neck either. Got a neutral neck position, neutral back position. And I'm going to do a couple more reps just to show you the position. Okay, notice that at the top, my hips are here, but then they're going to travel maybe like one and a half, two foot back, and then come back up. So unlike a squat, it's much, it's got a much larger hip hinge, so your hips should travel a lot further back, lengthening your glutes and hamstring down. If you haven't got one of these, I'm going to show you how to do it with some kettlebells. Let's just move that up here. Okay, it's the same kind of thing. I'm going to push my hips back, bend my legs, neutral spine, drive up to the top, back down again, drive up. So it's not a squat up and down like this, it's hips back, got a much bigger hinge, and then back up, and then down again. 